Welcome back, everybody. You know what, Chris? I love this time of year where it's just kind of starting to get warmer consistently because it's a reminder that it's time for the games. Yes. You know, you got to get got to get the games in. got to get that summer bod ready. Yes, um, I feel like I miss this every single year, but maybe this is the year. <laughs> this is the year you can do it. Hey, don't take that scooter. Run. Yeah, run okay. where you need to go. I'm going to I'm going to do this. The you don't need a scooter or a car. During That's my it. weather forecast, <laughs> which is actually crazy. Uh, so I'm not wearing my watch today, but on a typical Sunday, I do about 6,000 steps going back and forth to this weather wall. So that's my gains, Lana. That's my gains. Now, Rock Hill looking cloudy as we're just taking a gander across our Mr. Sparky camera network. Not a lot happening for the time being, but that was not the case, especially through this part of the Carolinas. You see a trail of damage. This is all associated with the tornado warnings that we had yesterday. Day. Two tornado reports, Glen Alpine, multiple trees down. The National Weather Service will be out there today or tomorrow to survey this damage. And then also Morganton had reports of trees and power lines down. This is from a big rotating system. And check this out. You can see the rotation right here. That was between about 8 and 10 o'clock. So pretty serious storm. We are under a uh, tornado warning heading into Burke County for about an hour and 15 minutes. Big deal, big deal there, but luckily all that weather is now clear. Here's what you're expecting for the rest of the day. Sunshine clearing out those clouds. There's the slightest chance for rain, but most of us are going to avoid this. I would say there's a line from about Monroe to Lancaster off towards the east. There's a few of these passing showers, but pretty much all of us are seeing a clearing sky and really a sensational Sunday as I have deemed it previously. And our winds today, that's going to be noticeable as you head through the afternoon. We're going to have a moderate breeze anywhere from about 13 to 18 miles per hour on average but then some gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Not out of the question. I'd like to bring up our future cast wind gusts. Anytime it's in the green, that's where you have that potential for gusts up to 20 to 30 miles per hour. And that certainly is going to be the afternoon. So say if you're going to maybe go to a park, have a picnic. Well, you want to hunker down those napkins. High temperatures today in the mid to the upper 70s. This is a wonderful, wonderful temperature range. And then the lower to the mid 60s, the mountains, not bad for a hike. Overnight tonight, though, with those clear skies, it's going to be chilly, dropping down the lower to the mid 50s. So a little bit close to where we should be this time of year. But then tomorrow, of course, on a Monday is my pick of the week. It's 80 degrees with sunshine. Yeah, that's definitely going to get the pick of the week status by Tuesday. More clouds are starting to roll in. Still a decent day in the mountains. Upgrade to the mid to the upper 60s there this time. And seven day forecast will show a cool down behind a cold front on Wednesday, heading into Thursday and then heading into next weekend. Either side of 70 degrees kind of get back to normal for this time in April.